Hello there, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills and grow as a designer. In this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at how to draw the sad Facebook emoji in Adobe Illustrator. I know, sad, sad, sad. So to start with, we have our artboard size of 800 pixels wide and 800 pixels high. We're going to left click on the ellipse tool left click anywhere on the artboard and specify a width of 600 pixels and a height of 600 pixels and just position this in the center remove the stroke and just double click on the fill in the toolbar palette and then give this a color of ffd 972 so this is the six digit hex color and that refers to this color here so this is the correct yellow and in our swatches palette, we can left click on the new swatch icon, select global in case we want to edit this color at a later date and click OK. Then what we can do is select the ellipse tool again and just left click and hold shift to create a circle. And with that circle selected, double click on the swatch in the toolbar again and we're going to specify the color for the eyes. Now it's not quite black, it's slightly off black, a little bit more blue. And the six digit color for this is 262C38. And again with this selected, we can go into the swatches palette, click new swatch, select global. And now we've got that swatch added to our library as well. So let's go over here and give this sad fella some eyes. So we've got one on the left. With that selected, we can hold Alt and Shift and that will create a copy that is perfectly in line with it. And we can select the pen tool and just left click, hold Shift. You'll see it keeps it nice and straight if you have your smart guides on. If you haven't, go to View and down to Smart Guides. Make sure you see the little tick there Smart guides allow you to easily line up shapes and objects. So you get these nice pink guides that are really helpful and indicate when things will be straight or a 45 degree angle. So really, really useful. So we're dragging this out, left click again and just bend that curve. This is going to be the mouth and let go. So then swap the fill and the stroke and in the strokes palette, just increase the weight. And then select round cap, that's the center one here, just to round off the corners. So this is going to be the mouth. Oh, it's making me feel sad doing this. Okay, let's, uh, it's all right, we'll get there. Don't worry guys, we'll get there. So we just increase the weight of the stroke. And what we can do actually is we can reuse this for the eyebrows. So if we left click on the mouth and hold Alt, and we'll just drag up here, holding Alt will create that copy for us. And then we can hold Shift to scale this down. And this is a pretty cheeky way of using the mouth to create the eyebrows. And we can just rotate that there. So it's at the correct angle. and position these just above the eyes. And again, hold Alt and Shift and drag across to create that copy and go to Object, Transform, Reflect. Reflect along the vertical axes and click OK. And there's our other eyebrow. And now we need to create the tear so let's click on the ellipse tool, left click and hold shift. Swap the fill and the stroke. And actually let's double click on the swatch in the toolbar. And we're gonna specify the blue color for the tier, which is 5890FF. And again in the swatches palette, select new swatch, make sure it's global click OK and we've now got this color in our library as well. So what we can do is with the direct selection tool, 
we can left click and drag holding shift on this top anchor point so holding shift makes sure that it goes straight up and then if you left click and hold on the pen tool you'll see the anchor point tool here just single click on that top anchor point and it will convert those curves to straight edges so there we go we have our tier we just need to move everything around now maybe position these a little bit closer together and move these a bit further down possibly increase the size of everything actually so just adjust these few bits and then position the tier correctly as well and what we can do before we check that everything's aligned centrally which at the moment it definitely isn't we can left click and hold shift to select both of the eyes and then go to object and group do the same for the eyebrows select one hold shift select the other go to object group now we're going to select everything except the tier and align this centrally and horizontally so we know that that is all good and correct now and with everything else central we can just position the tier and it looks to be in the right position actually and there we go that's how we create the sad Facebook emoji in Adobe Illustrator as always guys please feel free to leave any questions or comments below like this video if you enjoyed it Take care, and I'll see you next time. I feel so sad now. <laughs>